This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports a wildfire burning southeast of Austin has destroyed about 300 homes and is advancing unchecked through parched ranch land along a 16-mile front. Texas Forest Service spokeswoman Jan Amon said the firefighters have been unable to begin containing the blaze in Bastrop County. The Forest Service says the fire has destroyed as many as 300 homes, scorched more than 17,000 500 acres. This fire is roughly 30 miles from Austin and is moving away from the city. KVUE TV in Austin reports that nearly half of the 6,000 acre Bastrop State Park has been burned. It is one of several wildfires crews are battling throughout the state. A fast moving East Texas blaze that killed a woman and her 18 year old daughter in the community of Gladwater on Sunday has been extinguished. According to the Houston Chronicle, a Mexican girl government official has confirmed that Mexican military helicopters have permission to use Texas as a staging ground for missions into Mexico to fight drug traffickers. The unidentified Mexican government official said, yes, I can tell you they, meaning the Mexican government overflights, exist. They are going on, said the official who has knowledge of the flights. Certainly, for the last couple of years, he said, noting that the U.S. government also has permission to fly unmanned surveillance planes in Mexico. Most sightings have been in the vicinity of Falcon Lake, a region where authorities in Mexico are fighting the Zetas cartel. Catherine Frazier, Deputy Press Secretary for Governor Rick Perry, said state law enforcement is not being told in advance of any operations in which Mexico's military has permission to fly over Texas. The Associated Press has reported that a two-week-old Houston-area boy has died after being mauled by the family's dog. The incident happened Saturday night as the baby sat in an infant carrier on the floor of a room in the family house. Harris County Sheriff Spokesman Thomas Gilliland says the dog, a Labrador mix, began sniffing the child and attacked him before the parents could pull it away. The child was airlifted to Memorial Hermann Hospital, where he died early Sunday. Animal control officers have taken custody of the dog for quarantine. Opponents of a new Republican congressional redistricting plan in Texas are hoping to prove in federal court the plan illegally dilutes minority voting strength. According to this report from KVUETV.com, a trial to determine the legality of the redrawn congressional and state house districts is set to begin today before a three-judge panel in San Antonio. Several lawsuits filed against the plans have been consolidated into one and will be considered during the nine-day trial. The new congressional map was designed by the GOP-led legislature and signed by Republican Governor Rick Perry. It was drawn with the goal of protecting and possibly expanding the GOP's 23-9 to majority in Texas delegation in Washington. Democrats argue the Republican plan split Hispanic and black communities so that conservative white residents would be more likely to win seats in Congress. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.